New at six, dozens of unmarked graves have been discovered at a local cemetery. And while many burial records have been lost, efforts are being made to contact the families. We thank you for being with us at six. I'm Kim Gable. I'm Ken Rice. Royce Jones is here with more on the work being done to preserve history in North Huntington. Royce. Hey Ken, hey Kim. This all began more than a year ago when volunteers at Old Brush Creek Cemetery started a series of renovations, starting with landscaping work, then preserving damaged headstones, and now discovering and identifying dozens of unmarked graves. The Old Brush Creek Cemetery in North Huntington has been around since the 1700s and was the old cemetery of a Presbyterian church. But over time, the cemetery had become overgrown, headstones weathered, and graves neglected. We have, we have uh, veterans buried here from the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, Spanish-American War. It's definitely a, a slice of North Huntington history. A lot of the people buried here were original settlers to this area. All things volunteers who wanted to give the place new life have been unearthing over the past year as they work to preserve not only the 337 known graves here, but the untold history buried feet beneath the ground. We'll go home, we'll look the person up on Ancestry. Usually we can find them on census records, and then we can determine who their family members were. During the restoration, 65 lost graves have also been discovered using a machine that looks like a lawnmower and can detect voids underground. It belongs to Columbia Gas and is more commonly used to find gas lines. And they volunteer to ground penetrate radar, scan the cemetery, and uh, do a GPS map of all the graves in here. There still needs to be one final scan of the cemetery to determine whether anyone else is buried here. Then the cemetery will begin work to raise $5,000 to place small stone markers at the newly found graves. And for the graves that are identifiable, the cemetery has been contacting family members to let them know that their loved ones are resting there. I'm Royce Jones, KDKA-TV News. All right, thanks, Royce.